a equals to a naught times e to the power of k times t. This is known as the exponential equation. We use this in situations where things would increase exponentially or decrease exponentially, such as population growth, cell generation, and radioactive decay. But I don't like using this formula, and I have a different way to do this, where I will say something like y equals to a times n to the power of t over p. This looks more complicated, but the implementation is much easier. So we're going to look at how this works with application questions today. But before we get started, last Friday we hit 100 subscribers. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, and that's pretty awesome. So really thank you guys for supporting this channel. And the next milestone will be 500 subscribers. And speaking of 500 subs, let's make use of this in today's video. Let's say you're someone who wants to start a YouTube channel, or maybe you have started one recently. A question you might be asking yourself is, when will I hit 500 subscribers? Let's say you invited your friends and family to join your channel, so you start out with 4 subscribers, and we would say that t equals to 0 in this case. t will represent the amount of time that has passed by, but we're measuring it in months, and we will say y represents the number of subscribers you have. Now let's say you've been running this channel for quite some time, and you've noticed that after 4 months, your subscribers have gone up to 40 subscribers, and after 8 months, it's gone up to 400. If you look closely, you'll notice that there is a discernible pattern here. Every four months, it increases by 10 times. Based on this, we could say that after 12 months or a whole year, your total subscriber count should be 4,000. Based on this pattern, you could actually count any amount of them if you know how much time has passed, right? Let's say T is 20, so 20 months have passed in total, then the amount of subscribers could be calculated by working out how many intervals you've gone through. Because it seems to increase every four months. So you could just take 20, divide by four, and we can see that it has done this five times. So we could say that starting out with four subscribers, you just need to multiply 10 by five times, or 10 to the power of five, which gives us 400,000 subscribers. But now the question is, when are we going to hit 500? What time will that occur at? Or how many months need to pass for that to happen? This is where that equation comes in handy. So y is supposed to equal to a times m to the power of t on p. This 4 months here is supposed to represent that period, and this 10 over here would be that multiplier that changes this amount every 4 months. And whenever you want to work out how many times you need to multiply by 10, for example, you take 20 divided by 4 to give you that amount of times. The formula is t over p, so that's where it goes into this formula. And m is 10. The only thing we don't know here is a. a is meant to be the amount that you start with. So that's really easy, it's just equal to 4. Which means this equation is simply 4 times 10 to the power of t over 4. And just take note that these two 4s are not the same thing. This 4 came from however many we started with, while this 4 is based on how long it takes before we see a 10 times change, which is every 4 months. Now that we have the equation, all we need to do is plug this value into this equation. So we'll say 500 equals 4 times 10 to the power of t on 4. And do a bit of rearranging. Divide everything by 4, 125, equal to 10 to the power of t on 4. Right now we have an exponential equation because it's involving an exponent or a power, t on 4. We need to convert this into a log equation. So if you don't know how to do that, check out my video on log laws. Since the base is 10, we can convert this and say log base 10 of 125 should equal to t on 4. And so 4 times of log base 10 125 equals to t. So all we need to do is calculate this expression here using a calculator and we'll be able to figure out the value for t. So what you want to do is punch in 4 times log and that log on a calculator is always base 10 and you just put in 125 press equals and there you go 8.39 let's say which I'll just round it to two decimal places so 8.39 months. In other words, if you started this channel at the very beginning of January, you would have gone through eight months, which means the end of August, right through into September. So this is somewhere in the early part of September, I suppose. At the very end of August, you would hit 400 subscribers, but as you enter September, at some point in it, you will hit 500. If they ask for the nearest day, and let's say we presume every month is 30 days, then you minus eight, giving us 0.38 blah blah blah, times by 30, 
And so we have 11.6 days. So another way to say this is eight months and 11.6 days. But if we wanted to round it to the nearest day, the correct way to round this is to round up, not because it's 0.6, but because you can't hit 500 subscribers if you just wait till 11 days, it needs to be at least 11.6. So this does need to round up either way and say 12 days. Even if it said something like 11.2 days, you still need to round it up because you can't hit 500 until you go past 11.2. And there you go. So I wanted to keep this video simple and to the point. But if you guys want more detail or a more complicated application question to do with exponential equations or even to do with the original exponential equation that I showed at the very beginning, then let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a like if you found it helpful. And once again, thank you for helping hit 100 subscribers on this channel. It really means a lot. And for those of you who haven't joined the channel yet but want to help us hit 500 subscribers, then you can click the subscribe button down below and tap the notification bell to stay up to date with everything that's coming out. Thanks so much for watching guys, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye!